So we have another new update rolling out for the Pixel OS lovers. If you are using Pixel OS custom room or if you have ever used this custom room, this custom room is bringing you another new update with this month, which is July 2024. Which are the new changes and features you get in this one? By the way, this update is actually quite good as compared to the previous one because it brings you some new changes. So make sure to watch this video till the end. This is Android 14. This is having July security patch. Almost everything latest what you were expecting from a custom room. Especially if you are Pixel lover because Pixel experience is dead. With this new update, we have some new changes. So for example, first of them is cloned apps. I remember when I last time when the last time I made a video on this update on this custom room Pixel OS, the cloned apps feature was not there. And it's now finally available. You can use it in case you want to. You can create a second instance of any particular app. By the way, let me tell you one thing. Like in some of the custom rooms, you have the option named as parallel space, and that is different thing. Cloned apps feature is different. By the way, in my personal opinion, I personally prefer parallel space better. I personally prefer parallel space as compared to this cloned apps, but the cloned apps feature because in some custom rooms, it doesn't even exist. So it's good. It's available there in this custom room. Another thing is another change which you will find with this new update is the auto brightness quick settings style. It's not there in the brightness slider now. You don't have the option to enable that by default I'm talking about. But if you take a look at the quick settings options, edit the quick setting tiles and then you will be able to find the auto brightness style. In case you use auto brightness on a device. In my case, I don't use it personally. So yes. Also moving on to security and privacy options, you will find a lot of security and privacy options are present here, which were expected, but including this, these screen log options, it brings you some very useful things. So for example, if you move on to the more security and privacy options, you will notice the option named as ignore window secure flags, which was expected, which was already there from a lot of updates now, but this feature, which is named as hide developer status, it's now there. And uh, it's just my personal opinion, but yes, Pixel OS is now no more a stock Pixel Android device, a stock Pixel based focused custom ROM, because it's now bringing you some features which are actually available in some other custom ROMs too. But as it's here, so I just definitely wanted to show you. Also else, if I move on to the sound and vibration options, you will see per app volume control. Yes, these features are actually useful and very good for day to day usage, but yes, it also uh, it actually is not able to give you all the pixel vibes because if you want to if you want to get the pixel experience proper pixel experience these features you can enable even after installing this custom room and after installing root i mean after rooting your device you can get them but by default if these features are available there is no difference between this custom room and some other custom rooms too Moving on to some Google Photos options, one of the main highlights of this one, because yes, it's Pixel OS, so that's very good that you have some great features like Pixel Photos, I mean, Google Photos, unlimited backup, which is good. But also, if you move on to the editing options, there are some great options available for you. You have Magic Eraser, you have Magic Editor, that's actually quite wonderful. And all these things are working fine. You just have to update your Google Play services, Google Photos, Google App, and else. And I guess Circle to Search should work there too i'm not exactly sure in my case it's not working by the way that is why i'm not showing you but yes i guess that should work too but magic eraser and you can say magic editor these things are working fine because pixel props are integrated there and by the way yes i'm using official pixel OS, so that's good it's available for a lot of devices this is a new update and this is the second update i guess with the july security patch Previously, I made a video already on this one, but maybe this is reroad, but yes, a lot of things are changed, a lot of things are added. Those, I just wanted to let you know. Because it's Pixel OS, it was expected that you will get Pixel Launcher pre-installed. So as is in this case, it's there. If you want to change this default launcher, what you have to do is you have to uninstall, you have to reboot your device, you have to root your device and then install other modules other launcher modules as a magisk module for sure is of course you can use kernel su2 in case you want to if you don't want to if you want don't want to do any safety net kind of things you don't want that safety net fix etc kernel su is preferred else you can see ai wallpapers and of course a lot more things 
this is it these were things i just wanted to let you know link is already available in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care